What's happening, everybody? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In this project, I want to talk about two things with Gatsby images. First is why, and why should we use Gatsby images? The second part is I'm going to go into how and how to set up a basic Gatsby project with Gatsby images in it. I have two projects here. I've got a Gatsby project, which has this little car, and I have an HTML file that has a little car. If I go back and forth, the only thing that changes you can see is this HTML images and Gatsby images. So if you just look at it, it appears that it's just normal. If I just refresh, page comes up. If I refresh, the page should just come up. On the front facing side, so if we're just looking at this project here, they appear the same. However, if I dig a little deeper, everything appears a lot different. If I over to PageSpeed Insights, this is built really by Google. Head to the bottom, it is Google for developers. This is kind of telling me how the site works. If we run a report, I just ran this today, and I ran this HTML image.netlify.app, this picture, if we come over here to this little file system, on the HTML images, the pictures are exactly the same. We have 8.4 megs for this picture in front of us, and for the Gatsby project, we have 8.4 megs. So on the surface, the pictures are the same, however, they're built differently. If we come back to this insights, it's showing me that I've got a performance speed of 46. Ignore these other numbers because I haven't done anything to these. It just happened to work out. They were all green. What I'm focusing on is this performance, and the mobile is set at 46 out of 100. If we come down here, whoa, poorly sized images. You betcha. We have a massive file going on here in this picture. Google's just going, dude, this picture's way, way, way too big. Now we get a little breathing room if we head to our desktop button, that we get a 75 out of 100. Again, I don't care about these are numbers, I'm only focusing on performance. And if we come down here, okay, now we're at six seconds. It's still a massive file. We should really be making this a lot smaller. So the question is, well, we have this basic HTML document and I just used an image, nothing crazy. If we take a look at the Gatsby project under the same insights, the Gatsby image example.netlify.app, now my performance on mobile is 99 out of 100. That's crazy. And if we hit the desktop, we're at a pure 100 out of 100. And as you can see here, yeah, there's a little 0.24. I didn't do the perfect job, but you can see that the size is 364 and it wants to be 299. We're right there. We're talking about pretty much the same thing. And it has a lot more information inside of here to make it smaller. Again, if we look at the pictures here, we have Mercedes at 8.4 for Gatsby and the HTML at 8.4. So the power, which we're gonna go into next is Look at this difference. We've gone from a, come up here, we'll hit the mobile, at 46 to a mobile at 99. That's absolutely crazy. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna start a project from scratch in Gatsby. We're gonna load up just the Gatsby image and drop the picture in and get the same results. And with that, let's get started. All right, so I have a basic Gatsby project right here with Gatsby images for a title. Now I did go ahead in my project and preload Bootstrap from React Bootstrap. That's the only thing I did prior to this thing. Otherwise, it looks exactly like this one. I just added a container. I set an H1 class text center, and it basically says Gatsby images. I am now ready to add the Gatsby images. If I do a Google search, if I come to the top right here and I say Gatsby image, I always love that it pulls up the Jay Gatsby's videos and different from Boz Lerman. Anyways, side note, thankfully in my version of Google, it comes up Gatsby image right away. If I click Gatsby image, it'll actually tell me this package has now been deprecated. That's good. What I really want is the new Gatsby image plugin. If I come over here, Gatsby plugin image, I'm gonna scroll down here. I'm gonna copy and paste this whole lot of information. Now again, this is assuming we have a brand new clean version of Gatsby with just the boilerplate, hello world. So I'm gonna copy and paste this into my terminal. I'm gonna stop it, drop it in. Now while this is also loading up, 
I'm gonna come down here and bring in these plugins that are needed to work. So the Gatsby plugin image, Gatsby plugin sharp, and the Gatsby transformer sharp. Since it's already loading, I can drop it in, copy and paste it right into my Gatsby config.js as it shows right here. I'm also gonna bring in this file system. I just kinda like having it just kind of a safety net for the most part. So I'm gonna bring this file system in as well. I'm gonna copy this piece in, drop it in, and just for ease of use, I'm gonna copy and paste the curly brackets right here. Open and close curly brackets, the source file system. We're gonna change this from pages to images right here. So if we copy and paste this, drop it in, what I have is the Gatsby source file system. I'm gonna change this images, images, like so. And now I have to bring in a picture. Now my project has that Mercedes picture. We're gonna still use that very large image. So I'm gonna say images inside my Gatsby project, which I have, there we go. My 190, the why and how of Gatsby inside the source folder is now an images folder, which we have right here to follow the Gatsby source file system. Now to bring in this picture, I'm just gonna drag this Mercedes file right in like so and it should drop it in. Again, this is a massive picture, but I really want to emphasize how the power of Gatsby really works with the Gatsby images. If everything's working fine, fingers crossed, let's run Gatsby, not Gatsby images, Gatsby develop. Kick this into dev mode. So as it's running, hopefully we get no air mess. Oh, I have to save that. Oh, don't crash. <laughs> Helps a bit, you know, let me just stop that. I didn't hit save, and that might have resulted in a hiccup if I tried to use something. So let me just rerun this just in case. Helps hit the save button inside your work. That's a good thing. So perfect, we have no error messages looking really good. If we come back to my local host, let's just make a change and see what happens. Let's just go Gatsby images. All right, we're looking good. And again, the only thing I've changed from the Gatsby starter system or the starter design was that I just brought in the React Bootstrap. If you want to use React Bootstrap in your project, I think it's one of the most fabulous tools in the React arsenal. It just makes everything easier. And if you want to get started, you can hit get started. And I just simply installed, dropped in the Bootstrap and dropped in a container. So just a little things I do here and there for design work just to make it look a little better than it looking rough around the edges. So if we come back, I have a lot of windows here. If I come back, what I'm looking for is the Gatsby plugin image. So now we've already installed these three components, the plugin image, plugin sharp, and then we had to use the file system for using the static image, which we did have to do, which we did do. So now what I do is all I have to do to bring this image is, I have to come and say static image locate the picture and add an alt tag. That's really all. So if we think about this picture, if we kind of go into the hierarchy of it, let me close this window down, make this a little bigger so you can see it, is that we're inside the pages folder with the index in Gatsby and we have to go into this images folder right here for Mercedes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say under the H1, I like putting my images in P tags because the paragraph tags have margins and the pictures do not. So just like we have right here, I'm gonna say static image. In order to use the static image, we have to import the static image from the Gatsby plugin image. So if we come back to the top, I'm gonna add this at the very top, import static image from Gatsby plugin image. Now we can actually use that static image less than sign, static image, source, or as I used to say, circ, which people were going crazy over. And if we think about it again, we have to go outside of this index into the pages and up to the images. So we're gonna type in dot dot slash to go outside the pages folder. We're gonna go to images, and in there, we're gonna look for the mercedes.jpg. And from here, let me just drop this return key. We've got a little spacing issue. Is I also have to put in an alt tag and say Mercedes. 
And now from there, I'm gonna close that up, hit the save button, and it looks like it processed the picture. Hopefully it's doing that. Yep, looking good right here. Come back, we have the picture all set to go. Now, the static image is not the same as an image, but it is an image, but it's not an image. The power of Gatsby plugin image, it's still my way of saying Gatsby image with the word plugin, is that if we go inside the inspect editor, this picture, whoa, we've got a mess. <laughs> I thought I have space for that, I guess I didn't. Let me zoom in a little bit right here. This image is still 5,295 pictures, but what it does is it makes the picture tag and makes a source with a WebP as well. So it actually gives you multiple versions. You have a source set of pictures to work with. So the smaller your framework, like a mobile framework, the picture doesn't load up as big. And let's actually do this and bring it into Netlify and double check it with um, Google. I was having a mental blink for a second. Let me save this file. This is all set to go. I'm gonna move this up a little bit just so we've got so much room to work with. Come on, there we go. This project is looking good. I'm gonna stop it. And the way we actually export or utilize this picture is if I don't use a processing with GitHub and Netlify, I can simply say Gatsby build. And Gatsby Build's going to build a static version of this site in the public folder. Now I'm going to come over here. I've got my Netlify in a different window. So while this is running, I'm going to add a deploy manually. So if you've never used Netlify, you should use Netlify. It's really powerful. So I can just drag and drop this project right into Netlify. So here what I'm going to do is, since it's already built my project, I'm gonna drag this public folder. Now it is pretty big. It's 5.2 megs, they've reduced the file size pretty good. So if I drop this in here, it's gonna upload all 5.2 megabytes. Drag and drop, don't touch. Let's just call this one, I think we had it before. Oh, we'll just make it up again. So site configuration, I'm gonna say Gatsby, images or actually image example and we'll say v2 in netlify netlify is so rad i love this tool so just like that we've now made the gatsby image example if i click on it there it is picture pops right up let's run this one more time inside of the web dev measure it's still my way of saying it web dev measure it's now pagespeed.web.dev. They seem to always change that URL and it drives me crazy. So if I just type web dev measure, it kind of just comes up. So in here in the patient insights, I'm going to copy Gatsby image example v2.netlify.app. And it's going to measure this page speed. Now, again, I'm not focused on the SEO, on the accessibility. I've really bare bones this project. I've just dropped in a picture. It's there and that's it. And what we get, oh, I even got a peer 100 on this one. Check this out. Mobile, 100, check it out. Of course, desktop will be 100. Um, we're looking good. Like we're looking really good. There is nothing to be had. Yes, it's always gonna give you a headache for how, come on. Really Google, 131 to 96, that's what you're gonna hit me over? Uh, that's totally, totally cool. By just dragging and dropping pretty much this picture your images have no lack of performance inside of Google thanks to Gatsby Images.